Dandeli attracts three kinds of people, adventure seekers, wildlife enthusiasts and bird watchers. If you are none of them, then don't worry, you are not alone. When I visited Dandeli for the first time, I had no idea what to expect, where to stay or what to do. After spending three days in this beautiful place, I got to experience the best of Dandeli. We spent a crazy time in Kali River, went on jeep rides, saw gigantic rocks and learned so much about the birds. Hey guys, welcome back to Sakri Cubes and this is Sagar. Today we are going to talk about top 10 things to do in Dandeli. Before we jump into our list, let me brief you about Dandeli. Dandeli is a small town in Uttar Kannada district of Karnataka. Dandeli has evolved from just being a paper factory town to a hotspot destination for travelers. Dandeli follows ecotourism practices which sets it apart from most of the tourist spots in India. Dandeli is famous for its thick forest and wildlife. There is a river called Kali which flows right through Dandeli. Kali river is the soul of Dandeli forest. Kali river bed is formed by manganese iron ore. Due to this fact, the river looks black from an aerial view. That's the reason behind the name Kali meaning black. Everything you do or see in Dandeli revolves around the river Kali. In this video, we will talk about top things to do in Dandeli, how to reach Dandeli, where to stay, local transportation, the budget and few other tips that will help you plan your trip better. Let's dive deep into our list of top 10 things to do in Dandeli. Without any doubt, Dandeli is the best place for whitewater river rafting in South India. It is a must do activity in Dandeli. In fact, many people visit Dandeli just to experience the rafting in Kali river. If you don't know swimming and wondering if you can still do the rafting, then the answer is yes, you can. You will be equipped with safety jackets throughout the activity. There are two kinds of rafting you can choose from. The first one is the short rafting and the second one is the long stretch. In this short rafting, you will go through a single rapid which is in fact the best of all the rapids in the stretch. Rapids are the fun part of the entire rafting experience. The guide will give you instruction at the start of the rafting and will command you throughout the stretch. For most people, the short rafting may be sufficient but if you want to experience the real thrill of rafting, then you must do the 9.5 km stretch. This will take around 3 hours to complete and goes through 9 rapids. While you don't need any reservation for short rafting, you will have to book in advance for the longer stretch. I'll drop contacts for booking the rafting in the pinned comment below. Previously they used to capture the photo as you cross the first rapid. But now with the current trends, even the operators have upgraded. The guide will record the entire activity on a GoPro and if you want to preserve the moments, then you can buy the footage for around 1200 rupees per batch. Most of the people visiting Dandeli just do the water sports activity and go back. They miss the real beauty of Dandeli, the birds. Dandeli is home to more than 200 species of birds. We can spot them almost everywhere in Dandeli. If you are a photographer or a bird watcher, then there could be no better place to capture the birds than Dandeli. Out of all the birds found here, hornbills are the main attraction. Hornbills are known as the farmers of the forest. They eat fruits and disperse the seed far and wide helping the forest grow. They are the reason why Dandeli has flourished so much. There are four species of hornbills found here. Malbar Pied Hornbill, Great Pied Hornbill, Indian Grey Hornbill and Malbar Grey Hornbill. In order to create awareness and conserve the hornbills, the Karnataka government organizes hornbill festival in Dandeli. There are so many interesting facts about hornbills that may surprise you. Hornbills usually eat figs which are toxic and no other birds touch them. These birds don't drink water in their entire lifetime. They take baths in the mud, not in the water. And they have a single partner for their entire life. You can find hornbills everywhere in Dandeli, but if you want to have a closer look at them, then do visit Timber Depot. The hornbills usually feast here. Along with the hornbills, you may spot a lot of other birds as well. You can hire a guide who will walk you through the timber depot as they know the best place to spot the birds. In 2015, Dandeli Wildlife Sanctuary and Anchi National Park were combined and renamed as Kali Tiger Reserve. This meant the wildlife now got a higher degree of protection than that of a national park or a wildlife sanctuary. The Kali Tiger Reserve spreads over 1300 square kilometers 
and houses a spectacular array of biodiversity. We can go for a safari ride in this Kali Tiger Reserve. There will be two batches of safari arranged, one in the morning and other in the evening. The morning safari would start at 6 o'clock but you will have to be there by 4.30 and reserve the tickets. Only 120 people in 14 different jeeps are allowed per batch. Spotting deer, sambar and wild boars are quite common here. If you are lucky then you may spot tiger or very rarely seen black panther. Dandeli is famous for beautiful stays with a wide variety of options. The resorts here are made to fit all types of tourists. We can either choose a tent stay, a private room or if you are coming with a big group then a dormitory with a huge capacity. The stay usually includes 3 time meals, resort activities and water sports. The resort activities may include campfire, nature walk, cycling, archery and nearby sightseeing. And the water sports activities may include kayaking, jacuzzi bath, absorbing and river crossing. If you are wondering how much it is going to cost then you may be surprised. The stay along with all the activities will cost you just 1500 rupees to 1600 rupees per person if you are staying in tents. And if you are staying in the private rooms then it will cost you just 2000 rupees to 2200 rupees per person. The prices may vary depending on which resort you choose and the season you are visiting. I will drop a link to few of the good resort options in the pinned comment below you can check it out. Apart from rafting, there are a few more water sports you can do in Kali River. Kayaking in Kali River is surely a soothing experience you should not miss. The natural jacuzzi is done near the first rapid where you get a nice massage by the streams of water flowing. River crossing is nothing but the zip line across the river Kali. Zorbing is yet another fun activity you must try. Apart from these common water sports activities, we can also do Karakal ride near Kaleshwar temple. Here you will not only see the spellbound beauty of river but also spot many birds and even crocodiles. Crocodile Park is an unusual place to visit in Dandeli. This place is located next to Dandelapa temple. The town is named after this temple. Just opposite to the temple, there is a private property from where you can watch crocodiles lazing around. The river flowing adjacent to this place is polluted because of the wastage coming out of the paper factory. This polluted water actually makes a perfect ambience for the crocodiles. They love to stay in the dirty water. You can easily spot more than 20 crocodiles lazing around and enjoying this sun bath. While it is a great place to spot wild crocodiles, you can't stay here for long because the place stinks due to the polluted water. Old Magazine House is a property maintained by Jungle Lodges which is a government of Karnataka initiative. The beauty of this property lies in its very nature of attracting various kinds of birds. 6 to 8 birds feeder has been installed and a green net with a small opening is put up making it look like a bird studio. It is a common sight to see a group of photographers gathering to capture the photo of birds. Since the surrounding forest is dense and rich, a variety of birds staying in its vicinity come to this spot to quench their thirst. You don't have to run around looking for birds but the birds will come to you and pose for the camera. We can easily spot more than 40 species of birds at this place alone and the general public doesn't get access to it unless they book a stay at this place. The cost of the stay here is little expensive as compared to the other stays but if you are a photographer or a bird watcher then it's worth it. Sinter Rocks is a massive monolithic rock formation with a height of about 300 feet. It was created due to volcanic eruptions that happened millions of years ago. It was named after an English lady called Miss Sinthara who discovered this place. From parking, you will have to walk for about 15 to 20 minutes to reach Sintheri Rocks. River Kanneri passes alongside this rock. Getting into the water is not allowed here. In fact, it is very dangerous to get into the water at this place. We can see the cave formations that are created because of the corrosion by the water. While getting down is easy, it is a real struggle to come back as you will have to climb the stairs.
Kali River flows just 184 kilometers before joining the Arabian Sea. There are many dams constructed across this river, among which Supa Dam near Ganesh Kudi is an important one. The dam is used mainly for the electricity generation. You can visit Supa Dam backwaters to witness the mesmerizing sunset. You can spend some quality time with the calmness of the surroundings and chirping of the birds. Nature walks are usually arranged by the resorts. You can step into the wild and experience the nature at its best. The nature walks are conducted usually in the early mornings or in the evenings. It is a great way to get some fresh air while listening to the sound of the forest. Do keep an eye on the trees, you may spot many birds. If you have time then you can also visit Kavala Caves which is 21 km from Dandeli. It is famous for its natural shivalinga formation. Uttarakhanda district is filled with so many beautiful waterfalls. If you are planning for an extended holiday, then you can visit them as well. I have covered them in detail in another video that you can check by clicking on the i button above. Dandeli has a good road connectivity. If you are driving on your own, then you can simply follow the Google Maps directions to reach Dandeli. If you are looking for public transport, then you can find buses from major cities. There are direct buses from Bangalore to Dandeli. Dandeli doesn't have a railway station. If you want to travel by train, then you will have to get down at the nearest railway station, Alnavar, Londa or Hubli and catch a bus to reach Dandeli. If you are driving your own vehicle, then it's the best option to travel inside Dandeli. The roads are in very good condition to reach all the places mentioned in this video. But if you are dependent on the public transport, then I'm sorry, Dandeli doesn't have good public transport. So finding a bus to hop on from one attraction to another is next to impossible. But there's a good news if you know riding two-wheelers. There are two-wheeler rentals available in Dandeli. You can book Bonds, Wheel Street or any other rental services quite easily. If renting two-wheeler is not a feasible option for you, then you can hire a cab. The cab can cost around 2000 rupees to 3000 rupees per day, depending on the places you visit. It's best to contact the resort you are staying at to arrange for the cab as well. You can negotiate the prices and timings with them. Dandeli is filled with so many good resort options. Most of these resorts offer a package which includes stay, food and activities. I'll drop a link to few of the best resorts in Dandeli in the pinned comment below. You can check it out. The budget depends on a lot of factors like where you are staying, how many days you will spend in Dandeli, the mode of transport and what activities you will be doing. I have created a table covering various cases for a two day trip. You can pause the video and have a look at it. The exact expenses may vary but this should give you a high level idea of what to expect. Finding an ATM in Dandeli is a real struggle so keep sufficient cash in handy. Most of the places don't accept online payments like cards, Google Pay or Phone Pay. When you visit Dandeli, you get disconnected from the outside world. I mean it. Since Dandeli is a forest area, getting mobile network is difficult. Geo, Airtel and other networks are weak in most places. But you will get a reliable connection for BSNL. The water activities are usually included in the package by the resorts, but the river rafting needs to be paid separately. That was my list of top 10 things to do in Dandeli. If you know any other activity or a place that deserves to be on this list, then do let me know in the comment section below. Speaking of comments, we got so many lovely comments from you guys on our previous video of Mysuru. This motivates us to make more and more quality contents which are crisp and clear. Thanks a lot for supporting us. If you want us to make a video about any specific place, then do let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video then hit on that like button and to join us on this crazy adventure hit on the subscribe button. If you are looking for places to visit near Bangalore then do check out this video on the left. See you in my next video until then keep traveling.